rating, particularly in the world of Warcraft. Now, I've only been rating for two tiers now, and it's been only been in normal and heroic. And there's a lot of controversy, particularly in the mythic realm, and I want to talk to you about that, give you my thoughts uh, about the subject. A lot of people have been saying that uh, mythic rating is, is too hard, it's for the 1%, and uh, a lot of other things. Now, I will, I will say that for me, from my experience doing normal and heroic, a mythic to me looks like a frankly masochistic activity. Uh, it is already World of Warcraft is consuming. Rating at a mythic level is all but even more consuming. I'm looking at some of these guilds on Wild Progress and like the the, th the, the the demands or the you know requirements to raid and you're talking about four days a week, uh, sometimes three to four hours a day. That is a lot. I honestly don't think uh, such a, such such a thing should be that uh, absorb so much of your of your game time. Uh, especially when most of this, th most of what reading is, is attempts and failures, attempts and failures, on and on and on and on, and you got so many people, and especially now with these with these tiers, that have so many punishing uh, mechanics. I don't, I don't see who would want to do this. Now. Would I wish for it to be uh, easier, or maybe have different things? Probably make it a little just just to make it easier for these people that want to engage in this activity. Uh, you know, not not have so many this this very complicated dance that is subject to uh, you know disconnects, RNG, um, and just quite frankly wanky wanky mechanics. There's a funny video about uh, Captain Grimm. He's on YouTube. Check him out, Captain Grimm. Great videos, great, great World of Warcraft videos. About he goes about how it used to be uh, rating in uh, I guess classic and then now in retail, and how <laughs> there's a scene where uh, the raid leader's like, "Okay, hey guy, you're new, you're the new guy. We're gonna we're killing the Zoth, and this is what we gotta do, or do whatever the fight they're playing on. Uh, you gotta do this and this and this. Write an essay, do three cartwheels." And do other, it's just it's a ridiculous amount of things that you have to do to to do a boss, and the, the guy the, the new guy responds, oh that's that's no problem. This is the easiest boss of the raid. I got it. Okay, newbie, listen up. You're new here, so I'll give you a brief rundown of the fight. Occasionally, the boss will mark you and you will begin to take 45% of 15% of your max HP as damage, unless you run into the pools of dark energy that spawn around the edge of the room in 5 second intervals, which will remove the debuff but give you a new one that instantly kills you in 3 minutes. Then at 70% HP, the boss will get upset and he will begin to charge up his one-shot raid wiping ability. At that moment, you need to quickly write in the chat a 250 word essay on why you really like him and where you will take him out on a date, so he can feel better about himself and cancel his cast. Next, in order to get to the next stage, we will all get different tasks. You as a DPS will have to perform three cartwheels and quickly get up from your computer and cook a medium rare state. After which, we will have to calculate 459 multiplied by 0 0.43 and divide by the amount of dead players in our group. The answer will indicate the amount of seconds you need to spend performing the slash dance animation. If you get it wrong, five random members of our group die. In real life. And your spine breaks. You got it? Pfft. Of course I got it. I mean, this is one of the easiest bosses anyway. Come on. Uh, I guess you're right. I understand there's things that you know you want to do for a challenge, but this just feels extreme. I mean, I don't even think a, a hard game that people recently would say is like Elden Ring is as punishing as as mythic rating. Yes, you do uh, wipe right on the bosses over and over, but it seems like for one, it's just you. If you can't beat the boss, if you can't learn the mechanics, then it's really it's all on you. But in 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 this particular uh, in mythic rating, uh, it's a lot of people, and any one of those people can make a mistake. And unfortunately, there seems to have been this arms race with uh, Blizzard making the the encounters more difficult, 
and then people finding tools to counteract that. And it's, it's just been the cat and mouse race, which has escalated to the moon, where now uh, these mythic, world first mythic teams have to have like literal engineers, actual engineers, doing uh, weak auras, these special add ons that tell people what to do. Exactly. Like, that should have been the, the raid leaders. Uh, job right not not some other uh, computer or th external thing you're supposed to be able to learn to fly and just do it by you communicating with other people that's the whole you know crux about this game right it's uh, people coming together to play if not you're basically you're just playing with a with an npc a computer that's telling you do this do that jump here do... and i <laughs> i don't know it just for you to have to go outside the game just to play that mode uh, seems absurd to me. So I've been thinking, what what would be a possibility? Well, the, the, one of the possibilities is that whoever really wants to take the challenge of doing a a, a mythic a raid, mythic level raid, can just cheese it if they will. If they really want a challenge, then they won't use any any of these external uh, tools. But at the same time, for Blizzard to just bring it back down to a level where it's where it feels like it's in lockstep with what normal difficulty is, heroic difficulty is, and then mythic. Not that right now it's normal, heroic, mythic. It just it seems like the jump is just staggeringly higher you know you know going back to hearthstone we i used to play regular you know missions or so stories right like yeah, had the normal one which just had its difficulty and then heroic you know a little 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 harder definitely a little harder but nothing it just felt like it was in the range but then mythic it's some it seems like it's it, it, <laughs> i remember when my like call of duty days it just felt like uh, that hardest level, which was like death, or impossible, or it was just extremely, it was like a meme to even try to attempt anything on that level, right? And again, those are games that are individual, they're not in the collective. For you to get all these people to just basically turn themselves into machines uh, is it, it, staggering. So, yeah, I would like Blizzard to bring the difficulty from Mythic rating down significantly. And you can see it how they already have to nerf the hell out of these encounters just to bring it down. Leave it there, right? But that it is higher than Heroic, it is harder than normal, but not as much, right? It should be like a percentage, or maybe, you know, like normal is, 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 is like kind of like, you know, you're, you're, you're juggling three balls, right? That's 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 difficult in itself. Juggle three balls, and then you have that of fourth. Okay, it's getting harder. But then the next one, it's it's five balls, right? Okay, so it's a little harder. Not that it goes from three balls to four balls to ten balls. Okay, that's what it feels like. Mythic rating is. So bring it down. If these people want to cheese and want to get all the, your weak auras up the kazoo, let them. They're robbing themselves of a genuine in lockstep difficulty to what uh, the next step should be. That's basically it. Another thing that that would do is probably ease up on the requirement of having exactly an amount of raiders. I think for Mythic it's 20 or 25. Um, that way it's a lot more lenient and then lets more people in one group play the game. Because otherwise, which what, what I found out in my heroic rating is that when you had too many people, again, you had too many probabilities of error, and that just caused more wipes. The only way we were able to defeat Heroic Jailer in this current tier was when people were absent. And funny enough, the people that were absent were the ones that were actually the ones that were uh, had a propensity to create the, the, the mistakes, right? So it... it, it it basically was, you know, these people that were causing the wipes, once they were not there, the ones that were more consistent finally got the kill, right? And that was the case. They were not there. 
we got it done in in like I think uh, I think at that point we had done a couple hundred pulls on heroic we had spent like two weeks straight um, 12 hours by that time banging our heads against the jailer for two weeks right the next week all of a sudden it, the, 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 the people are reduced we get it done in like five pulls right that was the biggest difference. Of course, you know, part of it, learning the fly by the time of those polls, we already know what we're doing. But again, it was that problem. So, uh, yeah, doing that with Mythic, um, just keeping the, the, the difficulty locked up with the, with the other tiers, um, not having so many punishing mechanics that, um, you know, it'll if somebody dies, well, okay, there's a little more weight Put on the rest of the team, but not where it just it destroys you. Maybe have like one of them, you know, uh, in probably the, the uh, maybe the last boss or something. Yeah, keep it difficult. But honestly, it goes. It just goes back to, is it fun? And I guess some people might say, yeah, you know, uh, poking my eye uh, again, 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 over and over is fun. I, I enjoy the pain. <laughs> maybe that's the case, but. Um, it's just it's not good for a lot of more people a lot of more people might want to step up and do mythic you know uh, like i did first like one and two bosses in mythic but then don't have it ramp up so much where by the time you're at the end of the two or three bosses it's just it's it's growing up it's, it's the curve has just gone straight up in difficulty but in the end what do i know right i'm just a <laughs> i'm just a noob as far as this game goes i'm I've, only been rating for two tiers. There's probably things that other people are way more knowledgeable about. But in, in short, it's I think it's just reducing the difficulty of making it, you know, so that if people feel confident in normal, then they go to heroic. And if they feel confident in heroic, they can step up to mythic, you know, and, and do that. And uh, I think that'll do And people that want to, you know, cheat, the, cheat themselves out of a out of uh, something of a challenge let them you know but but not this ridiculous arms race that benefits honestly no one uh, it just it's it's grueling uh it's it's sad to see honestly it's sad to see which more people could partake in that and uh in the same token hey make uh, make heroic a little less punishing sure why not because <laughs> That, that, that can be hard as well. It's like, it seems like some of that mythic mentality is, is trickling down into heroic, you know, making making things really hard for some people that want to do that. Um, eventually, normal becomes, I believe, easy in the end by the, by the time, you know, the, the tier is ending. So you can get that accomplished later on. But yeah, just make it more flexible. Make it so that it's potentially rating could go down to one night a week. Hey, it's Friday. It's raid night. You know, not that it's raid week. Rinse and repeat. Anyways, guys, that was my thought of uh, raiding in World of Warcraft. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.